All right, good morning everybody. Today is February 1st and um, today I'm going to do some more vlogging. Uh, I'm getting a new phone soon as well as I'm also getting an, a Wi-Fi antenna which means that I'm going to have internet more which it means I'm going to have a lot easier time posting stuff online. So I'm just very excited for next week. Um, also very excited for the Super Bowl coming up. I'm very excited. Uh, if you guys have never had these before, I got these actually at Walmart, surprisingly, but you, they usually sell these at, like, uh, health food stores. Um, I really recommend them. They really do taste like cotton candy. It's crazy. It's just... This is what I'm going to have for breakfast. It doesn't really... You can't even tell what it is. It's, like, bananas, and then there's frozen berries, but they kind of, like, meld into, like, goo when you uh, unfreeze them. Uh, and then there's also oatmeal in here, there's some uh, nuts with chocolate, and then some flax. So in the near future, I'm going to do a lot more live streams uh, on Instagram, I'm going to do it on Twitter, I'm going to do it on YouTube. Um, I'm just not going to do that until I get my new phone, just because my phone I have currently now is just a pain in the butt, it crashes all the time, so, ugh. Alright, uh, so this song is called Bounce Myself Out. Here we go, so I wrote it. My mind broken, checking couch Thoughts roll around inside my mouth The TV flickers, that's away Another night I'm relaxing And I still feel it every day Bells and chains around me Couldn't go the other way Why to change anything? So I, I need to bounce myself out And I, I, I need to get off my couch I Okay, so this is an old one, it's called Aligned, here we go Felt your eyes on my skin I slowly sunk into The basement of your heart And I ripped apart The rising light In this gallery inside Now, what can I say? What can I say? Now you say you love her I can't find why I, I'm lying on the floor Living my mind So, fun time is over for me. I'm gonna clean the van. Um, I wish it wasn't over, but it is. Uh, if you guys liked listening to that, you know, follow me on social media, especially YouTube. That's where a lot of my music is gonna be uploaded first, um, or Spotify, um, or share with your friends. Thank you. Okay, it looks slightly better now. Now that it's cleaned up. So, uh, I want to talk to you guys. There's someone doing like uh, music over there, which is kind of ironic. Uh, similar. Um, so I'm going to talk about bullet journaling for a second here because I've kind of done a lot of different like um, apps on my phone that I really like like called Todoist or OneNote that work really well. But you know, then I jumped on bullet journaling which is paper and pencil or pen and uh, I really like a lot of it and just like with a lot of things with life that I've been experiencing lately in this kind of the past year is that both like you call this analog and digital have like really strong traits but um, by themselves they're not quite what I like the most um, the things that I like the most when it comes to being as productive as possible is using both and that's the same way with making my music too I like to have like things that are very analog to just hear my performances and then I import it into a digital environment and then work on it And I do the same thing when it comes to bullet journaling as well as songwriting too. I, I typically would do a lot of free writing or just kind of getting a lot of just like the ideas down and then I'll kind of organize it into a digital place so that it's very focused and then I can just knock it out. 
very minimalist to use two things when you could just use one, but you're combining the strengths of each, and um, that's what I like about it. One of them can be very versatile, while the other one can be very um, just powerful and efficient, and as well as portable. Okay, so this is what I'm going to have for uh, dinner. Well, not really dinner. More like a lunch, pre-dinner. <laughs> uh, tempeh, some udon, stir-fry, um, some veggies, and then I also got this stuff, too. I think this is going to be pretty sweet. I'm kind of doing two for one at the moment right now. Uh, there's veggies in here, and then there's also tempeh, which you can see in the back. And then these are just kind of warming up still. I just threw those in. But, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to add some teriyaki sauce. It's going to be good. Good. Boom, work it girl, stay go, strut it, strut, strut, oh the camera loves you, the camera loves you, pose. I'm gonna eat her. I ate all of that in one sitting, um, and I'm gonna have some grapes. Okay, so, um, I have this thing here, and, uh, I have never used it, but I've always wanted to use one of these things, so I'm gonna use it, cause I'm a child. Here we go. I'm gonna take the thing off, All right. If I was really a child, I would like start a fire and then put it out with this thing, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to push the button. Whoa. <laughs> Got some kickback to it. I guess it wasn't that... <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm going to put it back now. I probably, I really actually want to start a fire and just to put it out, but... Um... I just don't think that's a good idea to start the fire and then have like that in one hand, the camera in the other hand, and I just in the middle of the woods. So I had a container uh, break on me, so I'm actually going to just roll these, and um, hopefully this doesn't take me like too long. I need change for, the only thing I use change for these days is laundry, and uh, that sucks. Alright, if any of you can guess how much this is, it's barely any quarters, I'm letting you know that now. Uh, I will put your name in uh, one of my videos coming up. So that was the first time you used Amazon Locker. You just pretty much enter in like a one-time code, then you get your stuff out of the locker. Pretty nice. But anyway, this is what I... So this is called, uh, that you can read. So anyway, this is a really nice antenna that I can plug into my laptop. And what it does is that it actually gives me, like, I can, like, get internet from public Wi-Fi, but be, like, really far away. Like, I don't know, like, pretty far. Like, I'd probably say about a mile. And that's really cool. Um, so internet's not going to be a problem. For me, it's a big deal to have one of these things. It's going to make my life probably a lot better. Um, but I am going to show you guys the difference in speed and just regular Wi-Fi with what I have now and then the Wi-Fi speed that I have with this USB. Um, so I'm just running a speed test um, right now. This is on my regular Wi-Fi, um, just built in with the laptop. And I'm about 300 feet away from a Whole Foods. And that's, that's pretty far, so that's really good that I do, already do get internet away because I'm on the street. So this is the internet that I have where I'm at right now, um, and then I'm going to try the USB stick that's plugged in here um, and run another test. So it looks like it's about twice as, a little bit, maybe almost three times as, as, as fast, um, and you know, I'm still, yeah, about three times as fast, and see what else upload speed looks like it's even doing, doing the test faster. Um, so this is before it even says right there that it's slow and then on this one uh, it's, It says it's fast and says it can handle multiple devices streaming HD videos at the same time Dope, I'm in the next test is see how far so I got some crack uh, This is different than the usual crack that I get this is cauliflower instead of broccoli And if you're new here, um, this is something that I eat a lot of just letting you know I'm gonna have it with avocado guac because I don't have any ketchup and it's crack crack yeah thanks for watching that guy talks really fast like blah 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 I can barely keep up but anyway bye